Laura, we're here at Olympia. Let's just talk first of all about last night before we go back to the World Western Games. But last night you broke yet another record. Tell us how you feel after last night. Um, no, it was, it was awesome. Alf has had a, a good little holiday and he's come back in fighting form and very excited to be back in work again. And he was extremely enthusiastic last night. Um, and no, he gave me a great ride as always. And what have you been doing the last few weeks since the World Equestrian Games? All that success. What, what's Alf been doing? Freezing. <laughs> no, he's been, <laughs> he's been pretty well. He had a good little holiday, did a lot of hacking and a lot of chilling out. And, um, now the last few weeks obviously I've been getting him fitter again and doing a bit more work again um, and he was pretty overexcited when I first brought him back into work, he spent the first sort of 10 days just him squealing and bucking and farting around the, around the arena at home and thankfully he's come just about under control in time for here. Now of course we're moving into the freestyle tonight, tell us about your test tonight. Now, <laughs> well, if it goes to plan, it'll be um, it's my shadows freestyle, the same as in, in Kentucky, and Alf has been getting better and better with it. But obviously, Olympia is a pretty special atmosphere that you can't really practice for. So um, I don't really know what's going to happen. <laughs> this is your your first time in the rematch for World Cup this season. It looks like you're going to pick up some hefty points. Will you be going to some more World Cups after this? I'm not sure. Um, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be planning on doing any World Cup, sort of any of the rest of it. I'm not planning on doing the final with Alf. So for me, I'm just here because it's London and it's, you know, it's my favourite show. And I thought it'd be fun for everyone to see Alf again. But I'm, I'm not, I don't have any plans World Cup wise. I, I don't really know what he'll do in here tonight. So we'll see about those points anyway. Well, of course, the one thing that you have done, whether you like it or not, is you have shocked the world of equestrianism as far as Great Britain is concerned the limelight since the World of Equestrian Games. Do you feel the pressure? Of course not. No. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's, it's exciting pressure. It's, it's a good thing. It means that you know the team and myself have had a really good last two seasons actually. We've shown that we're becoming more consistent or we're really a force to be reckoned with in the dressage world and, and that's great fun and, and the fact that that means a bit of pressure that, that's you know that's great. Now of course you have brought Elf up to the stages and had him a few years. And not, not all riders do that. Some people get rides on horses that have, have already achieved Grand Prix level. What does it mean to you to have brought a horse along for that period of time and got to this level? Oh, it's, it's indescribable. I mean, you get such a close connection with your horses when you work with them day in, day out, you know, all day on the yard and, you know, training every day. It's, 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 a, very, it's a very special relationship. And um, when horse, a horse like Alf is, is you know, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity anyway. And, He's such a genuine character, he, you know, he always tries his best. Kentucky you know, is complete proof of that. He had a long journey behind him and so many things that aren't normal for a horse to deal with and he was so on my side. And when a horse really gives you everything, that's, that's an emotional thing. It's something you can't really explain. Well, I was lucky enough to see all three tests in, in Kentucky that you did and it truly was fantastic. I mean, coming back from there, your, your feet are probably hard to touch the ground, are they? <laughs> well, Actually, it's funny you should mention that. The first thing that happened to me when I got home was a youngster threw me on the floor, so <laughs> you lunged with a thump pretty quickly. <laughs> brought you back yeah. down to earth. No, I mean, it's, it's been great. It's been such an amazing year, but, you know, you, you always set your sights on new things and you want to, you don't want to tread water, you want to keep moving forwards and in the right direction. So, you know, it's hopefully onwards and upwards and keep trying to keep where we are. Now, you said that Alf is a horse of a lifetime, of course, he is. Have you got plenty of nice young horses coming on? I've got some very nice, even some homebreds, so I'll have had them really all the way, which will be very exciting. I'm actually riding one here at the de in the demonstration later, a five-year-old homebred. So I do have some youngsters that are very exciting, but um, whether any of them ever become an elf is, you know. Great to see. Yeah. Okay. Well, many congratulations again, and the very best of luck tonight. Thank you very much. And good luck with the demo. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Laura.